this going? Yep, I think so. Alright, here we go. Our first artist today, you'll notice there is drama with this. We are actually looking out. Um, by the way, if you guys need content frames, you can grab this. Um, if you're looking at this, you see a ton of drama. We have to set the time period again. Renaissance just got over with. This was 1400s to roughly middle 1500s, 1600s. Baroque style started to happen. happen. So your style, spelled on the board, B-A-R-O-Q-E. The Baroque time period. This Baroque time period, do you need a pen? So, oh, don't worry about that right now. Don't worry about it. It's near the All right, so Baroque. With this, we see a lot of drama, a lot of dramatic lighting, too. You'll see that in pretty much all of this guy's uh, pieces. Who is this, by the way? Medusa. Medusa, yeah. The crazy thing is, you guys don't even get to see the cool part of this painting. Because the frame is this huge, immaculate gold frame around it. And he painted blood onto the frame, which is kind of cool. Um, this is also one of those, when you actually go to see it, the eyes follow you everywhere that you go. It's kind of hard here, but the eyes follow you. I'm pretty trippy. Now with him, he was one of the first to actually use regular everyday people in his religious paintings. Before this, it was all patrons, people who paid the moolah. They wanted themselves in there, or at least relatives or people that they deemed perfect for it. Well, he made real people, how do I say this, I should say, he made holy people in the church seem real and lifelike. And that's where he got his stardom, is basically these are real people. By the way, this is Downing Thomas. Does anyone know the story of Downing Thomas? Yeah. All right. He, he basically, Jesus died, he was re resurrected. Thomas was like, no, he's not alive. What are you guys talking about? Until I put my finger through the piercing in the side of him, I won't believe that he's resurrected. And this is where Jesus was like, hey, stick it in me. Alright? So, <laughs> poked him. Poked him. Um, but we see this huge dramatic light. Actually, I want you to write that down. You're going to have two pieces of important information. He was the first to use realistic people for religious paintings. He was the first to use realistic people for religious paintings. Or I should say, Everyday people, everyday people, put that, sorry, everyday people, not realistic, but everyday people. Alright, so we have this very much dramatic sense, uh, he was known to get into a lot of trouble. And by trouble means real trouble. Uh, he drank a bunch, he gambled, he carried weapons wherever he went. Uh, he would start brawls outside of pubs. He would get kicked out of towns. Uh, he even started a brawl that ended up like 20 people going, or not 20 people, 12 people going to the hospital, and he started it. Uh, he actually killed a guy. He legitimately killed a guy in a duel and was wanted for murder for the end part of his life. Uh, luckily, he had patrons who would bail him out. Uh, people still loved him and loved his pieces, and that's how he got paid. Right when he was about ready to get pardoned, he was headed back to Rome to become pardoned at age 39. He caught a fever and died. But... At 39? Yep, at 39. So he died young. But his life was crazy. I mean, he literally was the badass of the art world. I mean, bad arts. I'm not supposed to say ass in school. Don't say ass in school. Okay. <laughs> bad arts. Bad arts. Actually, I want you guys to write that down. He was bad the arse. bad arts of the art world. A-R-S-E. Bad arts. Because you're not allowed to say ass. Because we don't have any donkeys here. Okay. Bad arts of the art world. Or just BA if you want to do it for short. Um, this is one of my favorite pieces, like personally, personally favorite pieces, because I actually had to recreate this for in college, and it was my first time ever doing Prague Pastel. Um, so I got to actually see it in Rome. It was huge, <laughs> massive. This was selfies before there was actually cameras on phones. So, this was in Rome. Um, this is my version of it. I mean, it's exactly the like, same kind of size and everything. But, that's kind of my, my connection to this artist. Uh, has anyone ever heard of narcissism? Yeah, what is it? Yeah, you're, you're like infatuated and in love with your 
yourself. It's kind of like your guys' society now. Yeah, Bane. Yeah, you guys are on Instagram. How many likes did I get? My duck face didn't get as many likes as I wanted. Uh, this guy actually basically falls in love with himself. His reflection in the pond doesn't eat. Uh, yes. Yeah, it's longer hair back in the day. And eventually drowns himself in the water because he's so filled and vain, filled with his own uh, love for himself. So, kind of like what's going on now. Uh, he has a lot of dudes with their heads cut off. When he gets, uh, um, pretty grotesque. But notice the dramatic, like, Caravaggio is his name. Caravaggio. Caravaggio. Still one. Sweet. Caravaggio. Alright, so Caravaggio. How we're going to do this? I'm going to show you how to remember his name. Do we get everything? Classic. Classical or romantic. This is, we've covered Renaissance. What was Renaissance primarily? Classical. Classical. Well, the pendulum has shifted. Romantic. This is very romantic. It's the dramatic lighting, the drama. Baroque is always going to be a romantic style. So here's the, well, here's the self-portrait. Here's the image I'm going to show you. Now, I hope that someday, that when you guys are in college, that you travel abroad. And maybe someday, you will go to Italy, and you'll go to Rome, and get to see everyone and everything. If you ever go there, you will think everyone is mad. Because they talk with their hands like this. It is crazy how much they talk with their hands. Alright? So, to make sure that you guys understand that he is Italian and crazy. Alright? He has his hands up. And he's ready to talk. So what you're going to do is you're going to go, Caravaggio. You're going to have like no wrist. No wrist. Alright? You're going to go, Caravaggio. Caravaggio. So on the count of three, you're going to go, Caravaggio. Everyone hold their hand. Hold their hand. Now, yes, this sounds dumb. And this seems stupid. But we have 33 artists to cover. If you don't do this, that is perfectly fine by me. But it is truly going to help you remember. So, hold out your hand. All right, on the count of three. One, two, three. Caravaggio. 